See what I mean? I'm holding my, my eyeshadow palette with my lashes in my hands, with the glue on there. I'm gonna line my lips. So I'm good, but just do this in terms of multi-targeting. I'm back with another educational beauty video. Today's video is really special because it's just one big fall vibe. And you guys have been asking for this video for so long. Something which includes makeup, hair, and outfit. Yes, we're going there. We're doing the whole vibe. We're doing the whole look for you guys today. And I have a very special guest. So please keep watching all the way to the end because you're absolutely gonna love it. There's some like amazing advice you guys are gonna get from someone very special. Now, if you do like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. And I'm over on Instagram, so please do go there if you wanna watch my reels or some unboxing. Now we can jump straight into the video. I know that you guys are just as excited about this video as I am, because this time we're doing makeup, we're doing hair, we're doing the whole outfit, plus I have a special guest, and this is all like a whole full makeup, hair, outfit vibe going on, and I'm really excited for you to meet my special guest. I'm so excited. Let's get started. As you can see, I've washed my hair. I'm just gonna brush through. We're gonna let that kind of like get damp because it's still kind of wet. Let me just put my eye cream on. So I'm using a drunk elephant, C Tango. My eyes might be a little bit red at the moment because whenever I've washed, whenever I wash my hair, I come out of the shower and like my eyes are so red. This is my Lancer C treatment. While that is just kind of sinking in, I'm gonna use my Tatcha Kisu lip mask. Using my Wind Marrakesh Rich. Skin is nicely hydrated, as you can see. I'm gonna use my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer over my eyes, so just to like even out my eyelids. This is just my Real Techniques sponge. I'm just kind of bouncing over it. Just got my Ben Eye Banana Powder and a powder puff, and I'm just kind of like pressing this on. This is gonna lock in this concealer so that my eyelids are kind of like more or less done. My Real Techniques setting brush, just dust it off lightly. And that is basically your eyelids done. So now that's ready for eyeshadow, but we're gonna carry on with the rest of the base first. Okay, we're gonna go ahead with concealer on the under eye area. Just putting it in my basic place, which is on the kind of under inner corner and outer side to lift. This is my Beautiful Skin Concealer from Charlotte Tilbury. So what I'm gonna do is just do a little bit here, there. The reason I'm not using my Tarte Shape Tape for this is because I don't really want full coverage. I just want like kind of medium and more lift to be honest. I've got my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Complexion Brush, fat side of the brush, and I'm just gonna like buff this concealer everywhere, the one that I've everywhere other than my under eyes. Get my sponge, I'm gonna start buffing my under eye in. And I'm just bouncing the sponge over, keeping it on that under eye area. I'm gonna use my other Beautiful Skin Concealer. It is pretty dark. I'm gonna use this to just sculpt. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit. This spreads pretty well, to be honest. So you only really need to apply small kind of like dashes here and there, wherever you need it. So yeah, I just did a little arrow there and then two lines on the sides of my bridge of my nose. That's all you need there. As you can see, we have buffed everything in and I used my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Complexion Brush for that, like I usually do. So just buffed it all in, but kept the shapes where they are, kept them in the same kind of shape, but just made sure the edges are nicely kind of like faded out. Now I'm gonna be putting my foundation on. I'm gonna be using my Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation in number nine, Neutral, because I'm currently loving this foundation. So I'm gonna just put a little bit of that on the back of my hand, grab my sponge, basically put some of that onto my sponge. And we're gonna start buffing this in from the forehead and then work our way down. So I'm just kind of like tapping my head, well, tapping my skin. I'm just starting from the top, working my way down the nose and then under eyes and then the rest of the face. I'm gonna go straight in with my powder. Just pressing this in and then I'm gonna dust it off after. This is my veil brush from Hourglass, by the way. You can see it's like the perfect size for like removing all this. Now I'm using my Real Technique setting brush, just for the under eye, because I feel like it fits in perfectly there. Gonna get my Too Faced Fluff and Hold, and I'm just gonna like 
push my brows up not overly exaggerated but just like to keep them in place and i as you probably already know i absolutely love this product it's just amazing it works so well on really coarse hair i'm gonna let that dry and while that's drying i'm just gonna kind of like contour my nose with my powder and then kind of like sculpt the rest of my face so i'm using my fenty beauty sunstalker bronzer in shady biz and my 200 brush from fenty and i'm just gonna kind of enhance that kind of little arrow that i did there and do one above it and then on the sides of the nose but just a little bit not not as much as i would have needed had i have not have sculpted underneath same powder but in private island using my veil brush from hourglass and i'm going to start sculpting my face so this is where i'm just going to go from the top of the ear and just kind of like take it in so it's ending between my nose and my lip just getting my 234 brush from Zoeva and my Tom Ford Illuminating Powder in, I think this is Mood Light. Yeah, Mood Light. I'm just going to draw a little line here and just a little bit up here. I think my brows are dry now, so I'm going to go in with my pencil, which is my Benefit Precise, pre Precisely My Brow Pencil in number four. <gasps> this is finishing. This is nearly finishing and I don't have another one. Just going to draw in little kind of like hair strokes wherever I feel that I need it so that it can thicken my brow up a bit. I'm going to use my Jaclyn Hill Divine Neutrals palette and I'm using the shade Good Vibes and my 228 brush from Zoeva and I'm just going to go right into that color and I'm going to take this over my whole lid because we're going for that really nice kind of like fall vibe and what I want is just like an all over kind of like wash of color. What we've got is this really nice brown and we're gonna go darker and darker and then we're gonna go smaller and smaller with our shape so it kind of transitions from dark right kind of close to the lash line going lighter and lighter and lighter but we're starting the other way around so we're starting with the lighter color and then we're gonna go darker and darker so all i'm doing is literally just taking this over my whole lid into my socket making sure it's nicely blended and then lift it up here a little bit so you're just gonna flick in the direction that you want it to go now i just want this whole kind of area to be full up of it. You can already see that's a really nice kind of wash of brown there. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. See how I press it first? Because we're kind of like covering more area, we're using a slightly fluffy brush. So I just press it on first and then I kind of like go back and forth very lightly. So I'm not pressing hard and I don't want it to be a really heavy look. So we're gonna keep it kind of subtle, but my version of subtle. Now I'm gonna take my Sigma E30 brush and I'm gonna take that same color and I'm gonna press into my lower lash line. And because it's such a light coloring, like quite close to my skin color, I don't have to worry about blending so much. So do the same for yourself. My Sigma E27 brush and the shade Booked, and I'm using the tip of this brush now. And now we're gonna go much closer. So almost like a thick liner look, small movements. Basically what we've already done, but smaller. See what I mean? I'm getting my E15 brush going into Boo Bear and now we're going to go even thinner. So we're going really close to the lash line now. We're just pressing all the way across. Just going to go over with my Sigma E27 brush with whatever's on that brush from when I last used it and just kind of like blend everything together. I'm also the like lash line area. So it's nicely blended. I've got a spot there and it keeps making me think that I've gone too far out with my eyeshadow. Just gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury mascara. I just want like a small amount on because I am gonna put some lashes on. So I'm just gonna put this over my upper and lower lashes. Now I'm gonna put my lashes on in Olivia from my own collection. This is a lash I absolutely love because it's like fluffy. I haven't worn these in ages. Just gonna apply some glue and then stick them on. Makeup is literally the only thing that I am good at multitasking with, <laughs> literally. So I'm gonna be doing my lip liner while I'm waiting for my glue to dry. I'm using my Kevin O'Quarr lip liner in Divine and just gonna, see what I mean? I'm holding my, my eyeshadow palette with my lashes in my hands, with the glue on there. I'm gonna line my lips. So I'm good, but just at this in terms of multitasking. Tasking. I'm going for a really nice full lip, so I'm excited about this lip, but I'm just going to line them to begin with. Time for the lashes. Stick these on. See that gap there? 
I've just filled it in with liner. I'm gonna do the same thing here now. I've done the faintest little wing there. I'm gonna do it here as well. So I'm just using the tip and just gonna kind of draw a little line. E06 brush, the shade Cinnamon Roll. And now this is where I'm just gonna go on top of this liner, like above it, not like on it and just basically like drag up and it looks like a little faded liner, but a really nice kind of precise line underneath from the actual liner. Now we're gonna use the Huda Beauty Trendsetter Liquid Lipstick, just a small amount. And I'm gonna then press this in, like dab it in with my finger. Now we are gonna use my Fenty Beauty Heat. This is the Fenty Glow Heat. I love this gloss, it's so nice. And I think this was all over TikTok. Oh my God, how stunning is this? Guys, how are we feeling this look? How are we feeling it? Give me a second, I'm just gonna grab all my hair stuff and be back so we can then do our hair. We're back and I have all my hair stuff ready and now that my hair is damp and not kind of like soaking wet, I can now put in my styler. I'm using my Virtue 6-in-1 styler. So this is kind of like shines, texturizes and protects my hair. So I'm just gonna get like just a pea-sized amount, a little bit more than that, and put this through my hair now. Cause as you can see, I like to smooth it through the top as well, to be honest, because I do get pretty frizzy at the root for some horrible reason. How nice is this that we're doing hair now, guys? We're like mixing it up a bit. Got my Dyson. You just twist it round and then you can use this side to like for flyaways, but there you go. That twist round and that's like what I use to blow dry my hair. Let me blow dry my hair right now, roughly. That is literally all I do there because what I do, I actually just like to style the top layer so I'm not styling my entire head. You've seen how like frizzy this is, like look at that. Taking this off, now I'm gonna put my roller brush in and this is where I take the top section. So I'm gonna start from the back here. So what I'm doing is I'm just like kind of grabbing, do you see how I grab this? So like this is my main section here. So all that bit there, right? But what I'm doing is I'm grabbing this section, bringing it forward getting hold of this section, and then I'm gonna start rolling it. You'll see what I mean. See how that gives me lift and it's a little bit smoother? I'm gonna do it on the outside section here, like around the hairline. And then that's my like front section done with this head. So I'm just like pulling it backwards. Okay, so do you see how all of a sudden the front of my hair is super, super nice. Well, it's like smoother. Obviously the back is still a little bit kind of wet, but we're not gonna worry about that at the moment. I've taken that other one off and I'm putting this smaller barrel on. Now this is where I'm gonna just, I've just taken a whole load of my hair, pinned it up and I've just got this section here, right? So what I'm gonna show you is I'm gonna keep curling it as I go along. Now, as you saw, I just got each section and then I just kind of like, I go like this so that the the wind, the, the wind, the air can kind of wrap it round. Now, because I've got short hair, it doesn't really give me a curl, but it gives me a really nice flick and full like body. And that's why I love this kind of style. Okay, gonna let the next section down. I'm honestly not like super OCD about this. Like I literally just grab whatever I can feel and see in the back section. I just kind of like grab it so that it's not, the wand isn't straight, but it's like that. So that it just at least does a bit of it, you know? And I always find that even when I check in like the mirror at the back, it looks fine. So it doesn't really have to be so complicated is what I mean.
Now this is where I'm going to do it backwards because this is the front section. It's that full bouncy kind of like style. Let me put my earrings on. Rings are on. Okay, I love this style. It's like, I never used to like it, but now I'm starting to love it. But before we move on with putting a little bit of kind of like product into the hair, let's introduce our special guest. And guys, here we are. This is my special guest. Hi. I'm Melissa Shaven from Virtue, founder and CEO. I'm so excited to have her here. I know you guys have been asking me a lot recently about what color do I dye my hair? What color do I ask for? And I've never really answered you. And the reason being is because it can be very damaging to your hair, yeah. right? So that's really what I wanted to kind of explain to you and make the most of having Melissa here. Really kind of like explaining to you how you really need to look after your hair and why some of the Virtue products are so amazing. Amazing. Before we do, I just want to tell you why it's so different from any other brand. Well, I'm going to let Melissa tell you, but there's a specific ingredient, yes. right? Yes. Which is alpha keratin. Yep. So I'm going to let you take over and explain because yep. I love hearing this whole story. Well, it's so interesting because this really started out as a, as a piece of technology that was being developed for wounds, tra traumatic injury. Human keratin actually exists in your body and it plays a pretty large role in how you heal. Just as accidentally, this scientist was working on how to bring this into to uh, therapeutics for regenerative medicine. And there was a young woman working in his lab doing her thesis, her PhD in, in um, tissue engineering, and her parents worked in a salon and she wanted to try it on hair. And that's oh, wow. how this all started. And really what's happening with this technology, it's a human identical protein and it's adhering to the exact size and shape of the damage in your hair. And where it isn't damaged, it kind of washes off. So you're not coating the hair as many products do. So you're actually kind of it, it yes. kind of like fits in exactly yes. where the damage is. So if you kind of like, tell me if I'm right or wrong, yeah. but I'm trying to kind of like make it really easy to understand. So like if you have a strand of hair and you have kind of like indents in there, which is okay. where the damage is, little holes, right? You've got yep. the strand. So basically the, the alpha keratin kind of like binds into kind of fill in those gaps mm -hmm. so that it smooths your hair, but mm -hmm. it doesn't necessarily bulk up on the other areas, which are completely that's healthy. That's spot on. That's exactly, so yeah, that. yeah, that's, <laughs> you're, you're hired. We love the way the hair color looks, but you actually have to break the hair to get the color in. Getting that really good canvas, getting that hair really healthy before you start coloring, you're going to get a much better outcome. Yeah. And I, I really wish I knew that before. Mm -hmm. And I wish I, I, I mean, I started coloring my hair way before. I think Virtue was founded in 2017. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yep. No one really explained it. Like hair, yeah. hair stylists and people who color your hair, it wasn't really as educational as what it is today. Yes. And I feel like now people, like normal everyday people who go out and buy these products have a bit more of a better understanding because brands like yourself are being so much more kind of like transparent. Hair for so long was just about how something looked, not the quality or the health of it. It mm. was about a, a masking almost. And now we understand as we get older and as pollutants and all those things, hair, even though it's a dead substrate, it gets damaged and it mm. doesn't, it, it ages too. It doesn't grow in the same way when yeah. you're 15 as it does yeah. when you're 40 and you have hormonal effects. And the industry itself needs to do a better job at, at being more technologically advanced. You know, consumers want it. We talked earlier about but you do a beautiful job with makeup, your own makeup. But when you do a great job with your makeup and you're having a bad hair day, it kind of it, all falls yeah, apart. Yeah, it, it really does give you a different feeling of mm -hmm. your whole kind of vibe. Mm -hmm. You know, with the self-care movement that we have and the, and the health movement that we have, getting every part of ourselves to the best place we can be. So the best canvas we can have. Nails, hair, eyelashes. You know, we just talked yeah. about how beautiful the lashes are that you make. There is another product that I love, and that is the Virtue Healing Oil. When I got this, I remember I didn't, and I just mentioned this to you, but I didn't fully understand like how to use it and what it really does to my hair. And sometimes it's difficult for you to understand what's happening to your hair when you don't know what it's meant to do to your hair, especially when you're using so many other products, it's hard to see what's doing what. Now with this product, this has obviously got the key ingredient, which yes, is alpha keratin, mm -hmm. which is what we were saying that is so good for your hair and actually helps to repair it. But tell me how this does work. Cause I, I know now mm -hmm. obviously, but uh, I think it's really important for other people to know. Cause it, like you said, there are so many hair oils out there. There are, and, and most of them, as we said earlier, coat. But if you take a look at this, 
and just turn it on its side a little bit. All the protein sits in the base, mm -hmm. so it's separated. It was a very hard pro product to make because the protein doesn't like oil. It's water loving. Yeah. So they kind of fought with each other a little bit. And what we figured out how to do was do a biophase. So you shake it to activate it. Okay. And then so every, you get it all mixed up in there and you put a, okay. I'm sorry, Wait a put a, little, a, a dose in your, in your hands. You're getting a fresh dose of the protein. Yeah. Right. And then you just do your ends. So I'm going to do shine. that while I'm here. I'm going to get you right in yeah. frame. Sorry, I keep, keep, I keep disappearing from you. We keep losing the list. Okay, so I'm shaking this. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the mistake I made at the beginning when I first yeah. got this. I didn't shake it. Yeah. I was like, why do I to shake it yeah it was like all shake the protein it. is and there. it's only after a little while i saw that all the oh, protein yeah. is at the bottom yeah it sits on the bottom so you've really got to make sure you shake it vigorously and you'll see that all that protein so now that's yeah. all kind of like mixed in um, i'm gonna just take about yeah that much two pumps and you've seen like i did my hair and it's still a little bit kind of like frizzy but i feel like this kind of like finishes it off for me it smells great too i love the smell of it. it smells so good see now i feel like it's kind of like defined yeah it's given me that nice kind of definition yeah, and just even, even a little bit of frizz you have is now tamped down and another thing i like doing say if i've curled my hair like i did earlier mm -hmm. with the dyson i like to just kind of do that yeah yeah give, and give it, yourself a little texture yeah and mm -hmm. it just kind of yeah, like nice. separates the hair the color is good you like the color i do it's, it's do. definitely looking more healthy yeah trust really, me because yeah. I just put oh, myself on this whole kind of like plan of using the shampoo conditioner and I also, what, what, I use this oil anyway. Uh -huh. That including obviously the shampoo conditioner uh -huh. and then using the healing oil, which I really, really do feel has helped my hair and doesn't, it doesn't look as kind of frizzy. And you guys can obviously see the difference anyway now yeah. because it definitely doesn't, it looks a bit more kind of finished and yeah. sleek and I know that it's and good there's really hair. rich shine to your hair too, yeah which it, is what you're it's, looking for you know you exactly and sometimes that is actually hard to achieve mm -hmm. when you colored your hair yeah because you get dark yeah. I really wanted to kind of explain to you guys you know why this is such a great product and what makes it different to other hair oils and yeah. I honestly loved having you thank you I was you. gonna say loved having you on the show <laughs> Well, maybe soon, right? Maybe, you never know. But yeah, I've loved having you on. Thank you so and it's much. been so amazing to see you again. Thank you. Thank you. The last time we met was a good few years I know, ago. I know, I, I had a blank that I have my, no, no, my COVID fog. You oh, must yes. see so many people, I totally get it. Like yeah. you literally are a beauty boss in itself. <laughs> so I do get it. I'm kind of like on the road and well, I'll get there yeah. soon. Yeah, I think very soon. Yeah, yeah. but you yeah. know, I'm, I'm excited. And when I come to the US, I'm gonna come see you. Absolutely, too. we'd love it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, filming, do a little filming from the lab. Oh my god, that'll be amazing. Yeah. Guys, yeah. do you want to see that? Let yeah. me know in the comments box below. Yeah. And that would be so much fun. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. This is my outfit. This waistcoat and trouser cover ward is from Zara, like I mentioned. I had the trousers kind of altered, tailored because they were way too long for me. Because I wanted to really wear these trousers with kind of sneakers because personally i feel like i'm way more comfortable that way but if i do want to wear heels i can which is great so this blazer is also from zara it's probably one of my favorite blazers i love kind of like pushing just like pulling the arms up because it just gives it more of a kind of like relaxed feel and i actually really like this outfit this is something i would wear this is my kind of style it's comfy it's neutral which is what i love and nico is falling asleep over there nico you want to come say hi come on yes Nico, such a good boy. Come on. Oh, such a good boy, aren't you? He's had lots of visitors today. So <laughs> Melissa was here and Melissa absolutely loves dogs. She's got about three or four of them. So she fell in love with Nico and like Nico was just like licking her face and all sorts. So this is my whole full vibe at the moment. And I honestly wanted to make it really realistic. So I really do hope you've enjoyed it. So how did you find this video? I have absolutely loved creating this type of video. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, please don't forget to let me know in the comments box below. Now, if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. And until the next video, I'll see you soon.